What's up, y'all? Got a banger from the Modern King. Let's get straight into it. All right, I'm bringing her to court today to try to increase my child support. We have two kids together, as I was stated before I was interrupted. Um, mm-hmm. She makes quite a bit of money. I'm a school teacher. I only make 50000 mm. Kids on my insurance. How much is your insurance? My insurance. I love Judge Vonda. She's great. $500 a month. All right. Um, and it's you and the three children on there? Correct. Okay. Mm. A lot of kids. Yeah, I mean, I just need a little help. She helps everybody else, but she doesn't help the kids like she should. Um, the two kids that we do have together, struggling in school, they're falling behind. I just feel like the amount of money that she pays for all the luxury stuff she has, the Louis V bag, she should put that money towards tutoring for our children or something. Um, I see her looking at me. She know everything I'm saying is accurate, so. It is what it is. Well, how can you have a Louis V bag? How can you have a Louis V bag and your kids are failing in school? That is absolutely awful. Failed as a parent. Lipstick, hair done. I don't even know what that outfit is. She looks like um she looks like her uncle was a cloud. Shots fired! I'm like, Shots fired! What is that? What, what what is it? Looks like it looks like the skin after you're peeling from a sunburn. Like, what is what is going on there? Okay. Any assistance I can get is greatly appreciated. L- who wants a little carrot? Look, you want a carrot? Free. Sit. Wait. Free. Go to your place. Baby carrots today. The big carrots didn't look good at the grocery store, so we got the baby carrots. Okay. Now you say you want to increase child increase. support. Yeah. How much money are you getting right now from her? Oh, so he's got custody of the kids. Thank goodness. Four hundred fifty dollars, and I feel like. Four hundred fifty dollars. I feel like fifty dollars, and I feel like. Sorry. Yeah. How much money are you getting right now from her? Four hundred fifty dollars, and I feel like for three kids. Four hundred fifty. I don't, I don't know how she finessed the system like that. To <laughs> yes, yeah, so y'all may need to look into that too. You so mad that you the, broke. The, the, the Ooh, yeah. ma'am, ma'am, don't do that. Don't do that. I didn't tell him to be a low teacher. That was on him. Listen, I'm a hustler. I tell like, you sell the little houses you sell either. Little, little houses. Little houses. But you taking me to ch- uh, to child support court. Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. Because I need okay. your I need okay. your little. I'm not okay. ashamed to say I need okay. your little money. I've been told you you couldn't handle me. You couldn't handle somebody like me. Um, you're out there. You couldn't handle somebody like me, but yet you gave this man three kids. What? Look, I am just trying to make a living. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, I, I heard they called her eyebrows the never-ending story. Shots fired! <laughs> Shots fired! They just, they just start and they just don't stop. It, we all have different paths. He chose to be a teacher. I chose to be a real estate agent. We don't care. How much are you making? <laughs> I'm making $150,000 a okay. year. Oh, you, you, about you about to get eight up. You about to get eight up. Little teacher. That's okay. What it well, this you know what? Come what we want to do? On, this is not going anywhere. It's not going to get any better if you all keep going forward. So what I'm going to do is just go ahead and order the child support. Now what he said is true <laughs> in terms of the child always it's being with him. Bad. So the children live with you primarily. Yes. Okay. In my flipped house. One hundred and fifty thousand dollars per year. Mm-hmm. She's about to get eight. All right. Two kids. She's about to get eight up. That brings your gro- your gross to 12500 Now, I hope you weren't anticipating receiving all of that 150000 for, or her child Honestly, support to be based on it. The, the tutoring for the kids. I don't want my kids to be dumb. I want my kids to live the life that she lived. Hey. Traveling and I all that. My- Shout out to that man. Because the thing is, I don't think teachers get enough credit. I tried teaching for a bit. Shout out to all the teachers out there. You don't get paid enough. You're hardly appreciated and it's very hard. Like dealing with kids is tough and kids are bad these days. Like this is a prime example of a good man having enough humility to say, hey, maybe I didn't pick the right career path, but I want my kids to have a better future than I. This is a sign of a good man right here. And these are the men that women would overlook. This is a, this is a good man right here. Good dad, shout out to him. I told you to live the life that I live. Don't pay for him to go to tutor. You're gross is going to be, of that 150000 it's going to be $12,500. She's actually capped. Her no, no, no. net resources, they come out to $9,200 because she's capped okay. based on her income. That brings her child support obligation to $2,300 per month, reimbursing you for the health insurance that you carry for the children every month I love it. is $255. She mad. Bringing your monthly child support to $2,550. 
Okay. I, 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 no, excuse me. Wait a minute. I don't get paid monthly. Oh, oh. I, oh no. The worst. way my checking and my savings is set up, it's like, it's like I gotta wait to pull it out. Like all of a sudden, now she's broke. Don't hey, you was just shaming him for being broke. Now you're broke. Come on. Into how my houses are flipped. So if I go a month without flipping a house, what? Why did you do this? You no, 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 no. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. You better flip some more houses then. Excuse me. I went off DG's with you time. said. You, you said, oh, Your well. Honor, I make about one hundred and fifty thousand dollars. Did you say that? I did. I did. I did. I did. I did say that. Right, right. I, did. I did. I did. I did. She's about to start beatboxing. <laughs> You, you did, you did, you did say that, so <laughs> that's what I based it on. This is great. This is really good cinema right Therefore, here. Therefore, that's what your child support amount is going to be, $2,550. So I hope you can flip enough houses to make that flip eight. some more for these children. Is there anything further, ma'am? Um, yes, can I just ask a question? We don't care. I'm glad our brother was able to get what he needed. And hopefully outcomes like this real, become real. more common in the future. Shout out to this guy. Hey, I'm your neighbor. I live three houses down. I just wanted to let you know that every time you go to work, there's a car that comes here and there's a guy that comes into your house. I think your wife might be cheating on you. Uh, the car is a red Chevy. Um, License plate, it starts with a five. I didn't get the whole thing, but every time you leave work at about 2 a.m., uh, there's a red Chevy that pulls up right down the street here, parks here, and there's a guy who comes into your house um, and uh, meets with your wife. Um, uh. I've seen this about four nights in a row now, and I just want to let you know uh, if you need more proof, or, uh, I got like a ring cam, and I, I can show you my ring cam that shows my front yard. I can, you, you'll see the car in the footage. Um, if you got any questions, like I said, I live three houses down at Shout 592. Um, if you want to talk about it, just let me know. All right? Just want to Shout out to this guy, man. We need more men like this that are willing to call out these crazy women in your neighborhood. If you see stuff like this, bro, snitch. Straight up snitch. Be the neighborhood snitch. Why not? I would absolutely... Like, bro, <laughs> if I saw this happening, I would absolutely snitch. Hey, bro, I think somebody, I think somebody bucking your girl, bro. I really do think somebody bucking your girl. Hey, man, let's get the likes up. Get the likes up. Uh, all right, let's get back into this. Are we supposed to balance everything? Mm -hmm. I am. Imagine. Ex stayed home. Ex stayed home wife who. Oh, stay at home wife who divorced her husband to pursue her career. Stupid. Laments on how difficult life has been after divorce, especially with constant pressure from work, and she barely has time to. Drowning. I wake. I don't know what the rest of that is. Breathe? What was it? How are we supposed to balance everything? Time to herself. I am drowning. I wake up in the morning, I pack my kids' lunches, I drive them to school, I have to rush back so I can make it to my first meeting. My boss tells me that I'm not engaged enough on Zoom, so I have to try harder there. I spend all day doing my job where I don't even leave my desk chair. My house is falling apart. I, I don't even have time to take my dogs outside during the day. And somehow I'm also supposed to be working out, cooking dinner at night, eating right, helping them with homework. I spend my lunch break picking them up from school and I don't even get five minutes to myself during the day. Not even enough. You wanted to be a parent though, right? Stupid. Why'd you crack your legs for somebody and then have a child if you weren't ready to take care of them? I'm sorry, bro. This is where I just, I just can't feel bad for people. I, I literally just can't feel bad for people. Like, oh, look, the consequences of my own actions. You chose to go out there and procreate with another man, but yet you want me to feel bad for you for being an adult and raising a child? Uh, nobody put a gun to your head to have a kid. You chose to have a kid. This is why I hate when people are like, but I have kids though. I have kids. I gotta get home. I gotta do this. I don't care about your kids. I'm gonna keep it a buck. Those are your kids. Those are your problems. That's like someone. That's like going up to a stranger and be like, "Hey, you should care about my problems." Why would I care about your problems? I got my own problems. That's why these people like they're not ready to have kids. Stop having kids. If you're not ready, monetarily, emotionally, in a good relationship, stop having kids. And then these women leave their husbands and say, "It's so hard being a single mom." You're a single mom. No, duh, because it's supposed to be a two-parent household. You wanted to go be a city girl, now you're a single mom, and you don't have any time because you're doing what two parents should be doing. 
nobody feels bad for you. Let me in the comments. Do you feel bad for somebody like that? Because personally, I don't. Oh, look, consequences of my own but consequences of my own actions. I don't feel bad for you. Like I'm not doing anything 100 percent. Jesus. When is it just enough? Maybe you shouldn't have destroyed your family. Yeah, don't wreck your own home. Own away your vows just so you could go work a job. Stupid. A man refused to do any more chores after his wife called him a house husband. He posted to Reddit showing that he and his wife, Bella, have been married for five years. 28, been married to my wife, Bella. We both met and went to the same college. She, pre-law, while I was doing animation. Ooh, doesn't sound like it's going to make a lot of money. Sounds cool, though. She graduated top of our class and went to a T20 law school. I don't know what that means. Does somebody in the comments, can they educate me? While she was in law school, I had a lot of trouble finding a job in my field or a job at all. Really, I ended up working in a kitchen as a line cook to help support us. Hey, shout out to him. At least he got a job. In addition to loans she took out while she was going to school, she could blah blah blee in her own classes. They met in college where she studied pre-law and he studied animation. He worked as a line cook to support her through law school. While she was going to school, she could not just focus on her classes. Cool. And upon graduation, she landed a good job in a different state. He quit his job and didn't get another one. When Killer where he takes care of the things around that she works very long hours. I could take care of most of the household things, cleaning, cooking, grocery shopping, repainting the walls and doing other work renovations in the house. Okay. They relocated. Because Bella works really long hours, he handles most household tasks, including renovations on their home. And in the last six months or so, Bella has taken to calling him her house husband around family and friends. He's tried letting it go, but it bothers him as he feels insecure about not being able to find a good job and it makes him feel even more inadequate. He's told his wife to stop emasculating him and he refuses to do any more chores until she apologizes. Bro, this is why I say there's certain types of women you do not want to go after, bruv. A lot of nurses, it's bad. Psychiatrists, therapists, lawyers. Typically where women are like, they have to be masculine or make a lot of decisions or kind of dictate what other people do. Like nurses are, that's a very like, they're in an environment, they're like telling people what to do, they're doing things, they're telling patients what to do. It's bad, hairdressers are bad, people, women that are in super creative fields, but like, if a girl told me she was gonna be a lawyer, I'd be like, next, I'm out. There's no way I would be looking to date a woman that's trying to be a lawyer. You think I wanna litigate at home? Women are argumentative enough as it is. You think I wanna get home and have to argue with you all the time? No. Stupid but she refuses. It seems as though this man is holding on just a little too tightly to traditional gender roles. Using words like inadequate and insecure make it seem as though he still sees his role as a traditional male provider. According to the Pew Research Center, Americans place a higher value on a man's role as a financial provider. 71% of adults say that it's very important for a man to be able to support a family financially to be a good husband and partner. But the reality of the matter is that every family is different and these ideas are terribly outdated it's 2024. It sounds like this man uh, needs to work. I knew it. I freaking knew it. I knew it. The pink hair gave it away. I always say the poisonous frogs, man. Let me know in the comments what you think. I think men should provide. I think men should provide and protect. I think we're the hunter gatherers. Women are the scavengers. Women sit around and they make things pretty. Women can make a house a home. I think a man is in his most masculine when he provides monetarily, financially. Physically, he's providing security, things like that. And I think a woman thrives in her feminine when she makes the house a home. She cooks, she cleans, she takes care of the house. She keeps the culture of the family alive. I think that's the that's the dichotomy. That's the that's the amalgamation of us being men and them being women, and us coming together as one. Like yin and yang, we complement each other. You're good at certain things. I'm good at certain things. We don't need to be the same. We don't need to flip it. It's worked for thousands of years. Why are we trying to switch it up now? I was I was gonna say this woman is based until she said that and I was like, no, men need to go out there and conquer. And that's what we do. Work on his self-perception and that perhaps both members of this couple could afford a little more respect for one another. It sounds like she needs to stop emasculating her husband. Yeah, I mean, she's being disrespectful. I mean, that's just straight point blank period. Loki, do you want another carrot? Would you like another carrot? Kakarot. Free. Sit. Wait. Wait. Free. Go to your place. My boy loves these carrots. Absolutely loves his carrots. Um, like I said, there is a, a good balance between what men bring to the table and what women bring to the table in a good relationship. 
and I think it's up to the, the two people that are together to figure those things out and communicate effectively and say, all right, what are my strengths? What are your strengths? What are the things we can bring to the table? One of the things that I liked about Cass is a lot of the things that she was good at, I was really bad at, like cooking, like cleaning, like being really organized, like decor. I was not good at any of those things, but I was good at working hard. I was good at grinding. I was good at hustling. I was good at networking. I was good at talking to people. She's introverted. I'm extroverted. She likes to stay at home. I like to go out. I like to talk to people. I'd like to network. That's my thing. Cass, if she had it her way, do she would sit home and watch anime all day, all day, every day. And then like go to Target every once in a while and get a, you know, pumpkin spice latte. That's her thing. That's her thing. For me, I'm like, I like to go hang out with my buddies. I want to start picking up other hobbies. You know what I mean? I'd like to start learning how to golf. There's certain things that I want to do because I want to go out there and meet people. I like meeting strangers. I like talking to people I don't know and getting to know them a little bit. But I think a lot of men, a lot of young men especially, they go out there and they get caught up in finding a woman that they want and not a woman that they need. Big difference in that. I'll say it again for the ones in the back. A lot of men get caught up in the woman that they want and not a woman that they need. What I mean by that is we need to be mature enough as men to know the inadequacies that have, we have in our life and how a good woman, keyword a good woman, can supplement those inadequacies and make us better as men. But if you just go out there and find a woman that's just, just like you, like a lot of people are so wrapped up and they're so egotistical nowadays that they just want somebody that's like, well, I want all the same interest. And we, we, she doesn't like, you know, she doesn't like gorillas and I love gorillas and she doesn't like apples and I like pineapple. Like don't go for somebody that looks exactly like you, that it likes exactly what you like. I think it's good to have somebody that you can disagree with and agree to disagree. That was the, one of the foundational things I was looking for in a woman when I found Cass, I want a woman that can agree to disagree with me because the thing is you're going to have fights you're going to have tiffs, tiffs you're going to have disagreements so if you guys can come to a common resolution even though you don't agree and you can still love each other and still be friends and still be friendly and still be cordial that is the key because us as humans we're going to have our own belief systems like when i met cass i was like raging atheist and she was christian I'm no longer a raging atheist. I'm kind of on the side of Christianity now. I'm, 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 as I get older, it seems like I'm getting closer to it. I pray now. I haven't embraced it fully yet. I'm working on it. You know, it's a journey for me. I'm just being honest. But for Cash, she's always believed. But the thing is, is we talked about that from the jump. We talked about that from the very beginning. What are your religious beliefs? And you know, like, what do you think about modern medicine? And, and we were like really getting down to some harsh topics. Like, what do you think about politics? And we like disagreed on a lot of things, but we still liked each other and we could still agree to disagree. And I think that's what a lot of people seem to forget these days, especially a lot of the younger people. They just want somebody to agree with them on everything. I want somebody that's just like me and likes this and likes that. That's the people that have like enablers in their life. We're like, I want somebody that smokes, smokes weed, or I want somebody that drinks. And then you go out and then you guys become addicts together. You smoke more, you drink more, right? Cass wasn't really into drinking and going and partying. I was into partying. So when I got with her, she kind of leveled me out, said, hey, we don't really need to go out every weekend and do things. And now I hardly ever drink. Smoked weed in college, don't smoke weed anymore. These things have made me a better person. I don't do them anymore. I never smoked cigarettes or anything like that or did the jewels. I never did any of that. Um, but a lot of those things made me a better person. And I knew when I met Cass, I saw her as a mother, which once again, begin with the end in mind, gentlemen. Don't look for just a girlfriend. Don't look for just a wife. Look for a woman that would be a good mother, nurturing, understanding, empathetic, quaint, uplifting, elegant. That's the stuff you need to look for. Fit, feminine, friendly, cooperative, submissive, no kids outside of me and you. You find that, that's the way you can get a good woman. I'll be coming out with an ebook of how to vet a woman correctly because there's a lot of things you can do. Like, I don't think modern dating's dead. I think there are pockets of it that are dead, but the entire landscape is not a graveyard. Right now, some of these women have as many bodies as a graveyard. <laughs> She's got as many bodies as a graveyard. Shots fired! Shots fired! But I don't think the entire landscape is dead. I have a lot of friends that are in loving, happy relationships. It took them a little bit of time to figure it out. But I want to put out an ebook to help you guys because I feel like there's a lot of guys that want to stay single. And shout out to y'all. You want to be, you want to be single? Cool, dude. Thrive, thrive in that. But there's. There's a lot of meaning in life that you can get from having meaningful relationships with friends, family, and a loved one, and a spouse, you know what I mean? And I wanna help you guys get on that journey. That's really what I preach. I love relationships. I think we're better together and together we're better. But I think a lot of men have been not led down the path of understanding how to vet and how to build a meaningful relationship with a woman, even building a meaningful relationship with a, a, another friend. 
So that's what I want to help you guys with. Hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Go cop the ebook, The Four Pillars of Personality. Makes you irresistible to women and respected by men. And um, if, you, if you're having any issues with style or like, what should I wear? What clothes should I get? Go get the four steps to style, dude. I put so many brand guides in there. Everything from what, what glasses to wear, what cologne, like knowing your face shape, how to understand your body type, how to understand what clothes fit you the best. Like there's a lot of nuggets in there that you guys get a lot of value out of. But I hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Loki, did you have a good time today? Did you have a good time today? It seems like you did. I'll see you guys tomorrow, man. Peace.